and uh, so you can see in this animal also this is poji present in between the stifle joint and hog joint downward and backward and uh, patella bone you can see it is not triangular this is quadrilateral in case of horse then differentiating feature about the tibia fibula in case of horse is the tibia and fibula fibula is aborted long bone in case of horse but it is rudimentary in case of ox fibula is an aborted long bone in case of horse but it is rudimentary it is rudimentary in case of ox next difference is this is the tuberosity tibial tuberosity in case of horse tibial tuberosity is grooved you can see here this is grooved this structure is grooved next differentiating feature about the tibia of horse is popliteal lines you can see proximal end is having nutrient foramen is visible here so nutrient foramen in near the popliteal lines is visible in case of horse next thing distal end on the distal end few differences are there so difference is in case of horse you can see obliquely present groups these groups are oblique not straight but in case of ox they are straight here they are oblique next difference is in case of horse lateral malleolus are fused but what we have seen that in case of ox there is a facet for the attachment of separate lateral malleolus in case of ox but in case of horse it is fused malleolus bones are fused in case of both the malleoli means this lateral malleoli and this medial malleoli both the bone are fused at the distal end of tibia in case of horse so these are the differentiating features okay